Hello and welcome to our Blooming Tech training videos, where we discuss common features of the Bit app and website and how to use them to your advantage. In this video, we will be discussing how to manage your equipment in the Bit web portal, such as adding, removing, and editing vehicles and trailers. The process for adding and removing vehicles and trailers are very similar and are done through the respective equipment pages for each. For example, let's say we want to add a new vehicle to our carrier's available ones, which allows access to that vehicle, not only through the web portal, but through the Bit app as well. Underneath the equipment dropdown, we'll select vehicles, and it will redirect us here, where we can see a summary of each vehicle on the carrier with important information, such as the vehicle name, plate number, the VIN, and you can also inspect which vehicles have Bit full service, as well as the app version and firmware version of the ELD. To add a vehicle, click on the Add Vehicle option. The required information includes the vehicle's VIN number, and you can also enter the name here. Once you've added that information, you can also enter the plate number as well. From there, click Add Vehicle, and you'll be able to see the vehicle. To remove a vehicle, there are several ways to do so. On the Vehicles page, you can check the box next to the vehicle you would like to delete, and then a red button will display. This is especially useful if you're trying to delete more than one vehicle at a time. Alternatively, you can click directly on a vehicle's name. This will redirect you to a page that shows information such as the vehicle's activity feed, associated route maps, any documents or air scales associated, the previous drivers, and any important vehicle information. You can edit some of this information, such as the truck number, by clicking on the pencil icon. To delete the vehicle from this screen, tap on the three dots and then the delete option. Now you can see when you navigate to the trailers page that it is very similar, though the only information that is required to add a trailer is the trailer name, though you can enter the plate number as well. To delete or rename the trailer, you can follow the same steps as you did with the vehicles. For any other questions, please feel free to search out our other training videos, knowledge articles, and of course, our support team. Thank you for watching. 